Chapter 3, Canada Dry. Shit. Jerry hangs up the phone and throws it in a chair across the room. Dang. Forgive me, Lord. I guess I'm too late. The Xanthrodema Corporation has already made their move for the company. Jerry walks over to the chair to retrieve his phone. He briefly scrolls through the phone and presses the call button. Voice ID required, the phone responds. Jerry, he responds to the demand. ID accepted, the phone answers. Jerry, longtime old friend, what can I do for you? We need to talk. Jerry quickly answer. My home office 10 minutes, come alone. The voice booms through the phone speaker. Understood, Jerry barks back while hanging up the phone. He walks down a darkened hall to his bedroom. After opening the door, he clicks on and off the light three times. ID required. A computer voice fills the room. Jerry Avragus, he responds. ID accepted, the voice replies. The wall begins to open as the light inside candles the bedroom in emerald green. There are weapons of all types and shapes. Some are of American and foreign design, others are of origins unknown. Jerry quickly grabs a blue, glowing orb and closes the wall armory. Okay, now I'm ready. Jerry says to himself as he turns off the light while shutting the door. Jerry arrives at his appointment on time as he pulls up to the guard shack at the allocated time. ID required, barks the box as Jerry's truck pulls closer to the gate. Scanning, barking loudly again in Jerry's ear. Access granted sounds the box, this time in a soothing voice. Jerry shakes his head as he drives through the gate. Emerald green indicators begin to light the way to Owen's location. He follows the arrows until they turn to a stop sign, and Jerry parks the truck. I see you brought your orb of protection. A towering man in expensive suit barks. Don't flatter yourself, Owens. I assume you know why I'm here? Jerry responds, getting to his own agenda. Of course I do. Now we must be as we were in the days of war. Owens spills out, advancing forward, pounding his chest. Jerry doesn't move for a brief moment, reaches into his jacket pocket, and retrieves the glowing orb. Owens stops his forward movement. Jerry begins to walk towards Owens now. So what have you come here for then, brother? Owens says to Jerry in a calm voice. The two have now met face to face. Jerry extends his hand, now touching Owens with the orb. To end this war. Jerry responds as the orb lights up a bright blue as Owens drops to the earth. Jerry turns the sphere on himself as he falls to the ground next to his brother. Mr. Avery. There is a slight pause before again. Mr. Avery. Huh. Where am I? Owen says to himself as he tries to sit up in bed. Only to realize that he is handcuffed. Hey, what the fuck is going on? Where am I? Owen yells as the confusion fills his voice. He is up, officer. A lone female voice calls out, running out the room.